hey guys welcome back to my channel my name is Vatib and in this video I will be showing you how to use inbound webhook and outbound webhook inside go high level to demonstrate that I have created two sub accounts here first one is big w's locksmith and second one is true local so true local sub account I will use to send send the webhook where I have already set up my calendar which one is this test calendar big w sub account i will use to receive the webhook first thing we want to do is that go to automation let's go to the automations and go to workflow and we want to create an appointment the trigger we want to set up this trigger appointment outbound let's say our trigger is appointment event type is normal and status is confirmed now we want to so since we want to this use this sub account to send the webhook which is we using for outbound we will be going to webhook now either we can use post or get if we are sending we will use post so we will be using post in this case now we need a url url is the destination where we want to send this appointment data to and now we need another sub account where we want to receive that data again we want to go to automation and create a workflow from scratch let's say appointment meant inbound here we will be using webhook which is inbound webhook so as i mentioned earlier we need a url to send the data here is the url where we want to get the data so we will copy this url and paste here let's save this one hit publish and save this so every time someone is someone is going to book an appointment and status is confirmed it is going to through webhook it is going to send the send this data to this sub account but let's test it with fetch sample since in this in this sub account there is no execution data in this workflow we cannot fetch a sample so we what to fetch a sample what we are going to do is that we are going to create a dummy appointment let's say create an appointment here and to create an appointment we need an email address we can create a temporary email address make sure this email address is temporary and once you use this one you will never have access to this email again so on 18 845 a.m with the Khan. my phone number is nine this is not actual my phone number <laughs> so this is a dummy email that i created it is a temporary email and I am going to hit schedule meeting so no. so what we going to do is that as I said there is no execution log or logs here so that's why we are creating this appointment because to fetch data here we need something here so right now it should as you can see we have created an appointment here and let's go back here and mm, fetch that data here is it so right now as you can see the first name last name and full name email address phone number all this is the data that we need to map now so right now we can create a contact so it's like we need to map this data with that inbound data that we will be receiving from another sub account so let's say contact 
contact type contact type our contact type will be inbound contact type so it is like what type of contact it is it can it, i mean it is a lead or it's a prospect you can write manually as well but in this case we want to know what exactly it is in the other sub account where we are fetching this data so we want to say inbound contact type same we're gonna say first name inbound first name last name inbound last name we can say email address we can set phone number we want to get that appointment start time as you as you can see here i know the appointment is starting 8 45 so i want to get this data as well so to get this data if i enter appointment here you can see there is no field for appointment so for that i have already created a custom field which is this one a dash time which is appointment time so to get this one i'm gonna go to inbound webhook calendar and search for start time appointment start time also i can get a time zone and same thing time zone here is it so publish and save so every time that appointment is made here we will receive all the data here but what we want to do that to understand it we will create a tag add tag so we would know that we are getting this data inbound webhook from inbound webhook so we can create a tag and in machine to machine communication that that time we will be receiving will be ISO 8601 we want to format that time into readable so format date and time field what we want to format is that start time the field is appointment start time because this is our start time so right now okay here it is let's save it go ahead and email we want to now write an email email action name is like this is for us we can say location name from location email test will be subject will be testing webhook contact first name your appointment is book for as you know we created a custom field for that for start time and uh, where it is let's go with that should be in contact custom fields yes here it is so your appointment is booked for it is the it is the start time and 
we also need a time zone let's say time zone because as you know we copied the time zone can say time zone time zone thank you so we want to see if right now this webhook will work so let's go back here delete this email and change this one we want to have a new email we want to refresh this one and book another appointment to see if our webhook is working right now so again this is our outbound webhook so every the trigger is appointment status confirmed whenever somebody is going to make an appointment through webhook we are going to send this data into this sub account which is our different sub account and here this sub account is going to receive that data and then we work through map those fields here and then we are sending that we are sending email to this account this contact through this sub account i'm i'm i hope this is making sense <laughs> i know this is confusing but if you have any problem make sure write in comments i will be explaining you if you have any confusion so let's test it we want to make an appointment 9 a.m let's say vakeeb 9 khan 9 so again o double four dummy email will be this one so if this is working we i should receive an email here let's confirm this one i book this appointment so status is confirmed check execution logs it went through here it is working and let's see if we refresh this one and let's see if we actually receive the email let's refresh again here is an inbox and let's see if we will receive this email and by the time we can go back and check execution log here as well yes it did work workflow is working perfectly fine and here it is guys so we received that email from big w's locksmith account so i hope it makes sense your appointment is confirmed for australian eastern standard time so uh, as you can see this is iso 8601 time format that i wanted to change but actually it did not change um i must have done something wrong over there other than that uh, our web webhook outbound webhook and inbound webhook is working perfectly fine um i would really appreciate if you can like and subscribe i would be sharing similar video in the future for now thank you so much